Chapter 1. Introduction and Basics. In this section of the Radiant Introductory Training Series, we will be discussing some of the basics for using Lattice Radiant. Chapter 1 consists of three sections. In the first section of the chapter, called Installation and Licensing, the general process for downloading Radiant and requesting a license are covered. In section 2 of the chapter, Lattice Radiant Environment, we will introduce Radiant's workspace environment and what it can be used for. Finally, in the third section of the chapter, Project Strategies and Implementations, we will review the basics for Radiant's project strategies and project implementations. Chapter 1, Section 1 Installation and Licensing. In this section of the video series, we will cover the process for downloading Radiant and how a license can be requested and set up. Some basic information about Radiant's license debugger tool will also be presented. To download Lattice Radiant, visit the following link and scroll down to the section called Software Downloads and Documentation. From the list of files in that section, locate the installation link for the most recent version of Radiant. In the figure on the right, it can be seen that there are two files for installing Radiant 3.0. Of these, users should select the download link that matches their computer's operating system. After the download has completed, run the program to initialize the installation wizard for Radiant. The installation wizard will guide users through the remaining portion of the Radiant installation process. Once Radiant has been installed, a valid license will need to be provided before the software can be used. If users do not have a valid license, they will need to request a node locked or floating license from Lattice's license request page. To request a license, visit the following link and scroll down to the Lattice Radiant software section. Once there, select the link for the type of license you want to request. The main difference between the two licenses is that node locked licenses can only be used by a single computer, while floating licenses can be used by all computers on a network. The process is the same for requesting both types of licenses. To request a license, users will need an account on the Lattice Semi website, as well as the NIC ID for their computer. For any additional license-related information or questions, Lattice's license administrator can be contacted via email at l i c underscore a d m n at latticesemi.com. After a license has been requested, users should receive an email from web license at latticesemi.com. This email will have an attachment called license.dat. This is the license file that is required for Radiant. To set up the license for Radiant, users will need to download the license file attached to the email mentioned before. Once the file has been downloaded, it will need to be moved to Radiant's license folder. This license folder can be found in Radiant's installation directory and is called license. A license can also be set up anywhere on a computer, as long as its system environment variable is updated. The environment variable that should be updated is called L M underscore license underscore file. This variable should be changed to match the full path of the current folder containing the license file. One useful feature of Lattice Radiant is its license debugger tool. This tool can be used to debug a license and search for specific features in them. To, to launch the license debugger tool, select Help from Radiant's menu bar. From the drop down that appears, select License Debug. This will launch Radiant's license debugging tool. The license debugging tool contains two tabs that can be used to debug licenses in different ways. The default tab that is open when the debugging tool is launched is called license debug. This tab can be used to search for specific features in a license. By default, the license file in Radiance installation directory is the one being searched. The file being searched can be changed by selecting the license file option. Doing this allows users to select a different license file to search for features. Specific features in a license can be searched for using the search license feature entry field. Any valid features in a license that match the search settings will appear in the bottom of the license debugger window. To switch to the other license debugging tab, select license information at the top of the win window. The other tab in the license debugger tool is called license information. This tab is different than the first tab because it displays all the valid features in a license at once. The only thing that can be configured in this tab is the license being searched for features. By default, 
The license being searched is the one in Radiance License folder. To search for features in a different license, select the three dots next to the License File field. Once a license has been selected, click the Start button. Any valid features that the debugging tool extracts from the license will be displayed in an alphabetical list. This list can be seen in the Feature List area of the window. Once users are finished using the license debugging tool, they can close it using the close button in the bottom right. That concludes this section of the introductory training series. To view the next video in the chapter, select the video titled Section 1.2, Lattice Radiant Environment.